Hi friends, I am Prairie Vintage Jewelry. My name is Linda and today I have a very exciting greeting. Um, my energy is fairly high so I think this should be a pretty interesting reading for you guys and today's reading will be about whether or not you can trust this person. Okay, so what are their intentions? Are they lying? Um, can you trust them? And this doesn't have to be a romantic connection. Um, this can be about really anyone on your mind. We'll see what the cards pull through. So if I'm picking up some heavy, you know, then I'm going to let you know. But um, we'll see what comes up. And um, yeah, so I don't really want to know how to edit my videos. Shame on me. But I'm going to give you options and you're going to choose from me just kind of holding them up. And uh, that's how we're going to do it. So we have the flower. Okay, for pile number one. And we have the chickadee here for pile number two. So this is one. This is two. All right. And then for pile number three, don't let this deter you. It's a snowflake. Okay. So one, two, or three. All right. So I don't know. It kind of helps me to pick cards when... I can compare but like I said I'm not learning how to edit because one I don't really want to and two I don't want to <laughs> so maybe sometime I won't want to but right now I still don't anyway these are the three so we'll pick one two or three and we'll get into your reading okay but I just wanted to let you guys know you can pause this um, but trust your intuition. This is just an internet reading. Um, you know, we will ask spirit to be as clear and concise. I do believe in energy, but I believe in intuition always. And certainly you can definitely pick the wrong pile. Usually if you're just kind of not really, uh, if you're second guessing yourself, but anyway, you'll stumble upon your right video. Um, but we will tap into your energy first just to make sure that it's the right one. And I'll stop talking now because I like to ramble. So one, two, or three, and then we'll get into it. All right. Hey, pile number one, if you pick this orange flower, we will get into your reading. And I'm really excited because we will be taking a look at your person or the person on your mind and whether you can trust them. Um, what are their intentions? And um, yeah, we'll see what comes up through the cards. But first, we're going to take a look at your energy in this connection and see what comes up from spirit. We'll just ask spirit to be very concise with the messaging. So spirit, hopefully I can pick up what you're telling me today. Um, please be clear and concise with your messaging for pile number one. And give us a message so pile number one knows whether this is their pile or not. We're looking for pile number one's energy in this connection with this individual. So that pile number one knows that this is their pile. Thank you so much, Spirit. And pile number one, I'm so blessed and so grateful for allowing you to tap into your energy and your person's energy today. So what do we have, Spirit, here? Well, we have the octopus. Okay, so I am feeling like for a lot of you guys that I'm trying to see whether you or your person, okay, well, either which way the energies that I'm picking up, so this could be either you or your person, but um, I've been really, I've had multiple ups and downs, I've had shown many different sides, so either your person is really loving and really caring and really affectionate and then your person is kind of standoffish and cold um okay a card fell out but what um oh dolphin okay i gotta say i gotta tell you guys so i was recording this and um anyway i'm learning how to freaking record this way not like use my hands or use my hands but you know what i mean um and this is like the third time that I'm like trying to record it, but luckily for me, I wasn't getting far because I'm getting calls and just everything's not working right. So I was like, hey, maybe I shouldn't be doing this reading, but I was like, I really wanted to because I was feeling whatever. So anyway, point being, this card came out, okay? So there is something about the dolphin card that's popping up when I was doing your energy and you're still pile number one. And this is coming up for pile number one with the dolphin card. And what I was really picking up with this card is a very loving 
energy, okay? So you are, you really, really care for this person. This is, you're really genuine as far as, okay, I'm picking up what the octopus was. Sorry, it takes me a while sometimes to like follow because I got to really um, get in tune with the energy. But with the octopus, I was sensing that for some of you guys, you don't really know how to be because it really depends on how your person is at that moment. Um, this is really interesting energy for me because, um, well, who cares how I am, but I just, yeah, like depending on how your person is, is what, how you act. So if your person is, I mean, within reason, right? If your person's being rude to you, I mean, you're not going to be acting all lovey dovey, but I was just picking up like you're really skeptical or at least you're really, not really skeptical is not the right answer, but or the right word, but you're really hesitant. You're super hesitant and you're kind of trying to see how your person is. So you've been a bunch of different ways with your person, depending on how your person is with you. And, um, but I do feel with the dolphin card there that there is a lot of love for this person. You're very, um, and if you're not in love with your person, then I would say you're really have a deep caring for this person. Um, it is very much a gentle, but real true, real true feeling. I, was, I say it's love because it feels like love to me, but, um, okay. So, and maybe that means you're still unsure whether you love this person and take that as a sign from spirit that I'm, what I'm feeling here is definitely love. So, um, if you're resonating with us, this will be you and we'll get into your person, but we got beaver. Okay. So beaver came out. Um, <laughs> and, um, what I'm picking up here with beaver is that, yeah, um, same with the octopus, like you're still guarded. You're kind of putting up, you're putting up, you know, barriers. You're trying to see what your person is like before you fully allow them to see how you truly are I guess um yeah and you're still kind of guarded okay so we have gazelle here and I just feel like because okay I, I'm getting a pull point hold on spirit one thing at a time okay so what I'm getting here with um the gazelle before I get into this card what I was feeling was right before like I told you I did this pile number one this is like my third time recording and we got the stingray and I really feel like this is still attached because I could still feel the same energies coming in that your person um said something or did something that really hurt you um and it was kind of unexpected it was like ugh, like was like you know like shocking almost like I can't believe they did that or said that to me and um yeah it was it was hurtful it was painful but with the gazelle I'm still getting here like it kind of made you it kind of made you more questioning or I guess yeah more questioning a little bit standoffish like more observant, more taking guard now. So you're like, uh, should I trust this person? Because why would they do that? Is this something I need to be concerned with? And I feel with the gazelle there. Yeah, you're still in a period where you want to watch and see what your person does before you fully, fully um, come out and show yourself. But what I'm feeling with the beaver is that you're still really fairly guarded. And I kind of see you just watching you know, through all the beaver sticks and the beaver down, you're kind of, you're kind of watching and you're kind of, um, contemplating on whether to undo some of that dam and let down your guard, but you're still, yeah, you're still kind of guarded up there. So spirit, what do we have here for pile number one? Okay. We have walrus and with the walrus card, it says remain vigilant about the current situation, pay attention to signs and omens and let them, um, dictate your choices okay so what I'm getting with the walrus um I think for some of you guys there is I am feeling a little sense of caution but I don't know if it's because you're so cautious now um because of the act of the stingray that I was telling you about uh or you need to be cautious which we'll see because we're going to get into your person and whether they are honest 
um, or if you can trust them. So also with that walrus and, you know, trusting, I guess, the signs, I just feel like a lot of you guys have really strong intuition. So maybe there's a reason why you feel as though you have to be guarded. But I do feel like there's a lot of cautious behavior. Um, and kind of what I was feeling, but we will get into it, is that that stingray situation, um, even although it made you feel hurt, and not although it made you feel hurt, obviously if you're hurt, then you're hurt, right? So no downplaying it, but even though that was a result of what happened, I don't think that was your person's intention when they did what they did. So I think this is why there is question around whether you can trust them or not. And we got some cards falling out here and we got two. So we have Palatopus and then we have Spider. Okay, so what I'm really feeling like Spider is kind of still your energy. I mean, we're tapping into your energy, but with the spider, it's almost like you're trying to line things up in a way that you can control your environment so that, you know, you're not caught off guard and you can really be prepared in case your person ends up being untrustworthy and you want to be able to control, you know, your feelings, the situation, and you're just really, you know, how spider just builds their web. Um, you want to be in your in an environment where you can control a lot of it and not just get like I don't know trapped in someone else's web. So you'd rather trap them in your web. I'm hearing them them trap you in your web. You'd rather them get trapped in your web than the other way around. <laughs> okay, so Palatopus and. Palatopuses are really dangerous. Did you know that? I didn't know that because they look so cute. But it says, stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. So, yeah, now I'm picking up heavy energy. Again, we'll get into your persons. But what I was picking up was that I think your cautiousness um, is because of that action. And understandably so. I think Spirit is telling me that you're overly cautious. It's impacting how you are around this person, what you say, how you act. Um, you're kind of being a bit like meek or timid. Um, and I just feel like, I don't know, for some of you guys, I'm also feeling with a spider that you're kind of maybe waiting to get back to this person somehow, tit for tat. So I am picking up this energy of still a new relationship, um, new-ish. And yeah, I don't really like the tip for tat game all that much. So I don't know if that's kind of someone's intention here is tip for tat or how can I, I don't know, get the upper hand is kind of what I'm feeling here. And then back to the platypus, I just feel like, yeah, like maybe you're acting a little bit, like you definitely like with the dolphin, I saw a lot of love there. I was making the assumption was coming from you because that's what it felt like. But there's definitely someone in this connection that feels like a lot of love. But with the platypus, I'm just feeling like somebody who is appearing in a certain way, but could be very dangerous. So maybe you perceive your person as someone who is looks loving and is loving and has been loving, but you know that they could be dangerous and that, yeah, you know that they could be dangerous. Okay, so we got two more cards coming out here with the elk and the gorilla. Okay, so with the elk, it says stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. Okay, so I think what this elk one talks about is after that incident with the uh, stingray <laughs> oh you didn't see the stingray card i swear to you, you guys got the stingray card i still feel picking that up that despite that action you know your person kind of maybe doing something that not maybe your person did something that made you feel hurt and now really you know what spirit is saying is that with this elk and stand tall it's like spirit doesn't want you kind of hanging on to grudge and you don't even want to hang on to being upset about this so you kind of want to let it go but i think you have a difficult time 
maybe letting go of what it is that they did and I can't say just forgive them because I don't know what they did but I just getting from spirit that whatever it was that they did do that it is something that is most likely forgivable and that a lot of you guys just have a more difficult time letting go of this um in general because of kind of how you are so it may take a little bit but it impacting how you are acting with your person and then here with gorilla we have take the time to listen compassionately to those you love especially your family members so if this isn't a romantic person uh i was feeling though that it was but if this is like a family member which could kind of be um i just feel here like you what i'm really getting from the gorilla card is that you are not you're too busy being guarded and watching out for signs to whether you should trust or not trust this person while you're kind of around them. So you're not really being present and listening to them and understanding what it is that they're telling you at that moment, if that makes sense. So we're going to pull some of these intuition cards and see what we see here for you until um i feel like this is about enough and then we'll get into your person so spirit what do we have here for pile number one regarding their energy and this connection thank you okay so okay so hmm yeah see i have this guy over here and he looks like he's going to war sorry if it's not focused then not gonna edit <laughs> okay so this guy's going to war and he oh, oh i don't know if i can be naughty on yeah what the hell i swore like three times in my last video and i didn't even realize until i watched it back so <sighs> you guys okay so this warrior dude he is going to battle and he has a heart in his hand but see how he looks like he's like coming down with his sword or his wand or his bat or his yeah his wandish bat so i kind of get two things from him it's kind of like he's like extending his heart but then he's like ready to like clobber anybody who like goes near it just really picking up like your your okay so i really feel like you are a very soft gentle person on the inside you have so much love at least in this connection i'm picking up love i'm picking up like really caring but then i'm also picking up this guarded side and like especially with this card here with the warrior um and then on the back it says i ask for what i want because i deserve to get what i want so it's almost like this guy is ready to attack anyone who's going to well it looks like take the heart but what i'm getting is maybe disrespect the heart or treat the heart in a way that you know that's gonna make him feel like not content so he's really guarded of his heart um but like i just feel like because he's so guarding his heart he's might be missing um what's actually going on in the current present situation with that person okay so we will take a look at your person and whether they are being truthful if this resonates resonates with you by now then um sorry i know it was all over the place but you'll you'll pick up <laughs> i hope you'll pick up whether this resonated or not so let's take a look here spirit can we get for pile number one whether their person is someone that pile number one can trust can pile number one trust this person on their mind can they trust them are they being honest? You guys want to know if your person's being honest? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, right, let's see. Okay, well, we got snake spirit. And you know snakes are, you know what snakes represent, right? So snakes are, yeah, you can't really trust the snake, but snakes are also a sign of wisdom and i think what i'm really picking up with the snake don't get spooked okay because i don't i'm not picking up that your person is not trustworthy but what i'm really getting and this is time to heal at the bottom what i'm really getting with the snake spirit is that you have been really hurt in the past and 
you're learning to trust and heal. So everyone looks suspicious until they don't. So you don't trust anyone until, well, I don't even know if you really trust people <laughs> that much. So I could kind of see while you're here, but um, yeah, I kind of take it as you have a difficult time trusting a lot of people and we have five, five up the top. So you might be seeing um, five, 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 a lot of fives. Um, five, five is also 10 and 10 is the wheel of fortune in the tarot, which the wheel of fortune does speak of fate and destiny and luck. And, you know, I'm just feeling like you most likely met this person because you have to meet this person out of fate, out of destiny, uh, with the wheel of fortune. I'm also feeling like you might have met this person when you were kind of maybe down and out or in a really low point in your life. And I feel like with the snake spirit time to heal, you were most likely doing some healing and this person is still spirits not really showing you much about them but that is kind of the situation in which you're in when you met your person just more confirmation so spirit will ask though you know for pile number one whether their their person is trustworthy are they trustworthy if you gave me a snake don't get deterred by the snake, guys. I know some of you guys are like, oh my god, a fucking snake. <laughs> Stop it. Ah. Okay, what do we have? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you won't believe what I got. I got the snake spirit. Okay. Spirit. Why are we getting snake spirit? Okay, uh, I'm picking up definitely this time to heal. Um... Spirit is telling me that you and your person are both healing and is difficult to trust someone. It, okay, it's difficult to trust someone because someone's actions will be different when they're healing. So, yeah. So, if your person is being hurtful to you, it's because they're healing. I know that doesn't sound very nice and I hope they're not hurting you because that shouldn't allow that regardless if someone's healing or not healing. But I just feel like maybe both of you guys are trying to heal. So your guys are both really sensitive. So anything can appear like hurt with the snake spirit. And I am picking up your person as trustworthy. <laughs> I am. I swear to God I am. Um... Spirit, back me up here. What do we got? Okay, you know what? I'll pick one more from this deck and then we're going to move on to, to another one. Okay. What do we have? Snake Spirit. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't have Snake Spirit. We have Turkey Spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. Okay. And Frog Spirit. Clear out the clutter. Okay, this Frog Spirit, clear out the clutter, is totally telling me you need to heal. Both of you guys need to heal. Clear out the clutter. Like, there is so much going on in your emotional or... Em in your emotional aura um that both of you guys just need to clear out the noise the clutter everything going on there's just too much going on so um yeah it's really impacting your the way you guys interact with one another and then with this turkey spirit give it with gratitude and grace i really feel as though um both of you guys want to be able to give more to each other in this situation and it's just difficult because you guys are both learning to heal and clean up some of the stuff that's in your life right now that isn't really helping your guys' relationship all that much. Um, but yeah, Spirit, can pile number one trust their person? Thank you. Okay, we got sacred action, decisive focus. Yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like you guys are in the middle of healing, so I feel for some of you guys, you guys are, I was going to say fairly close, but you guys are kind of at the point where, um, yeah, you guys are almost, I mean, you're never really done your healing, but almost done covering up some of the areas or bandaging some of the areas that were really painful to you in the past. So, 
now you're able to kind of focus in areas of your life like this connection with this person to really be able to um, see it for what it is and I think that's definitely gonna help um, a lot of you guys to be receptive to what your person is trying to give you and to be able to give to your person um, genuinely because I think that's really what's going on is that you know when you're healing you can't really give much of anything to someone else so we have your abundance fortune wealth and plenty okay so I'm really picking up here from this abundance card that I think your person is fairly wealthy um, I think your person is has a lot to give to you um, in regards to emotion but also yeah they're they i think they're financially wealthy um i don't know if that matters to you but that is coming up and we'll take a look at stack here spirit can we get more regarding tile number one's person and whether they are trustworthy thank you okay happy family hmm so for some of you guys, this could be, I was picking up again, a family member. So if this is a family member, then yeah, like that's just confirmation. But <clears throat> if this is like someone who you're with, I feel like your person really wants to either have a family with you or feels like you're part of their family, uh, at least your soul family. I was just really getting that Ten of Cups feeling from that card. So what else, Spirit? the world oh so your person thinks the world of you your person definitely you know thinks you're everything that they could possibly want um yeah so if you're questioning their intentions your person is definitely has good intentions here despite the double snakes we saw Oh, we got the world again you guys oh my gosh okay so yeah your person definitely um thinks the world of you and also with the world when I'm picking up is that um for some of you guys you guys can have like an international type connection maybe be like really far away from each other or um you know somebody being from one culture and the other one being from a different culture coming together um I also pick up from that card that your guys's healing is kind of coming to a close as far as things you're trying to close out and clearing out the clutter of maybe what cleaning up the stuff that happened right before you guys kind of got together or at least yeah at least um trying to heal from some of the past pain and stuff that's gone on in your own personal life same with your person so spirit what else in regards to pile number one's person can they trust them are they being honest? We got gratitude rampage. It's already happened. Okay, so a couple messages right away coming in from this one. The gratitude again. I just feel like your person really wants to give you the world. I just feel as though you guys both have lots to give to each other uh, and be grateful for in this connection. But I feel with the, it's already happened that again that this connection is faded or that um because i'm getting that wheel of fortune um vibe that i just feel like destiny has kind of brought you guys together here that there is growth to be had together and healing to be had together and that you guys are kind of i don't know doing a healing dance i guess if you will um yeah it's really pretty what do we have Omo, family, again, the family card with the Omo. Um, yeah, so again, if this is someone in your family, um, oh, yeah, sorry. I This is really interesting now. I'm kind of getting used to doing readings by overhead. I'm going to go back to that because we get to really look at the cards. And with this one, look how cute. There's like a baby there. I think your person wants to have a family with you. I just see your person really pictures everything with you. And if that is a family member already, like your person is just feels very solid. Um, feels like they feel like you're part of the family. Um, yeah, I'm not questioning their authenticness at all. 
people of whether you can trust them or not. Okay, so what do we got? E10, seduction. Okay, so for some of you guys, this looks like a pretty satanic card to me. No Satanists going on here, but um, yeah, with this E10 seduction, I just feel as though there is a lot of passion in this connection. Um, again, obviously, if this is, you know, someone in your family, you can just take the messages that uh, are resonating because there's obviously a collective here and spirit did want to come through with this message that um, I think for some of you guys, you feel a little bit like maybe blinded by your passion or maybe as though your person can easily seduce you. So it becomes very difficult for you to be able to maybe, you know, think clearly, I guess, or trust your person because you feel like maybe they're trying to seduce you or that for some of you guys, you feel almost like, yeah, like this person is just wanting something casual maybe or yeah and spirit saying that no this person definitely sees a family with you um yeah i think you're just really being beaverish hiding in the dam <laughs> still guarded okay so forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so that's what i was telling you that was totally the vibe i was picking up so you're too busy still healing from past things that happened maybe when you guys met you were still healing and now it's saying to the more you release and heal that then the more you can actually enjoy and experience the moments with your person um so yeah i think that obviously that's going to come over time but i do feel as though you know with the snake coming out twice as well i feel as though you're probably in a really guarded mode and your person feels as though no matter which angle they kind of come in they feel like you're yeah like you're the one who's going to not attack, yeah kind of attack them in, in an emotional way that might be kind of scary but also thrilling for them with the seduction i think that they are drawn to you but with the double serpents coming out um they are concerned that you might be on guard. So it's making it difficult for them to even just have a genuine open openness too. Cause remember your person's also healing. So um, yeah, and I don't know what they did to, um, let's see. Well, for all of you guys it'll be different, but with, I, with the tarot here, let's see. Okay, let's see. I was gonna see if they, <clears throat> did something here okay so we got the art card and you'll see what the art card this is the anime deck you have like the temperance here and I feel as though your person I'm picking up for some of you guys you feel like maybe this connection at some point wasn't balanced and when I say balance it's like maybe somebody was putting in effort and energy and the other person was just kind of maybe, I don't know, taking all the energy. And now I feel as though, this might not sound very good, but I feel as though you are concerned because you haven't been maybe putting in as much energy as you could have been or that you wanted to with the dolphin spirit that you think your person is going to do tit for tat and like hold back energy or hold back emotion. Um, but I do want to see here, Spirit, what's happened here as far as the situation with pile number one and their person. What was it? With that stingray. Okay, got two cards falling on my lap. I got the five of wands and the three of wands. So five of wands speaks of competition. So maybe your person made you jealous. Yeah, I'm getting your person made you jealous somehow. They did something that made you feel like you had to compete for them. And with the three of wands, I feel as though, you know, with the three of wands, it can speak of 
looking to the future kind of what potentially will happen but I feel with it coming out and even in this one like this three of wands is probably one of the scariest SOB <laughs> cards I've seen like what's with this dude can I zoom in all right well you get the point you some scary dude um Yeah, I feel like your person might have came at you really harshly in a way that something that they said or did that you weren't expecting. Again, it could be, it could really be different for everyone here, but um, I'm feeling as though after the whatever, like, the person made you feel jealous um then their attitude was kind of like aggressive maybe and there's more aggressive than you kind of maybe had anticipated or expected yeah so you're like okay this is interesting like why is my person you know i wasn't expecting them to act this way and i just feel like your person was acting pretty aggressively um yeah, it was pretty scary. So maybe some of you guys um, don't know whether you can trust your person because of how they reacted. Get another card here, Spirit. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so Seven of Wands is kind of still giving me that defensive mode. Um, having to ward off or fight off all these like other wands. With the Seven of Wands, it's like defending yourself I guess and having to go through um same same like kind of with the five of cards even with the double serpents it's like there's all these things that you have to kind of go through to you feel to get to your person it's all these defensive things all these challenges but I feel like a lot of it is just you having to heal yourself and your person having to heal themselves and bottom of the deck we see the king of swords and with the king of swords um you know i feel as though there needs to be some clarity as far as what is actually real from what emotions you're feeling like sit down and separate emotion from um you know what you're feeling and all that from what's actually physically happened so you can get clarity around that and kind of make sense of it there's a need for understanding there's a need for clarity that's going to bring truth in this situation because right now I think you are a little bit thinking with your emotions and that the truth is kind of muddled up um but yeah so this is what I have for pile number one leave a comment so I was really all over the place I wasn't expecting that but I did enjoy that reading um but yeah if it did not resonate or you want a different answer you can stick around for pile number two because we will do pile number two with this little yellow chickadee okay so if you pick pile number two we will get into your reading so my gorgeous pile number two we will be taking a look at your person and whether you can trust them or not but first let me grab this card oh my goodness okay so i was explaining to pile number one that i had to record this like three times because things were interrupting and i got a phone call when i was like just the beginning but i was doing pile number one and the freaking card that came out was the stingray card okay but when i did pile number one again it didn't come out but i was feeling these heavy stingray energies so of course now i'm doing your reading and the stingray freaking card comes out but what we are asking spirits is for um your energy in this connection so that you know whether this is your right reading and we will look at whether your person is being honest and their intentions but right now with the stingray popping out and it, it being really around your energy i'm still feeling like something here was done that made you feel hurt okay so i'm really picking up like you're just generally hurt i don't even know if you're like your person is bringing out hurts in you, okay? Um, so that's what I'm picking up. So I don't know if they really did an action that justified you being hurt or that you're just hurt in general. So being around your person makes you hurt, okay? So that's what I'm picking up for some of you guys because the thing with the stingray and those chakras. Um, 
that your person is like activating your all your uh, chakras and it's making you hurt like you're physically yeah like you're physically hurting um physically hurting when your person is like around okay bat so with the bat i'm getting you know bats bats have like well sonar but they have like they're able to make a sound and then it kind of come back to them i just feel like there is this ability for you guys to communicate with each other through like nonverbal and yeah I feel like you guys communicate nonverbal or at least you are communicating to your person nonverbally and your person is able to understand you and you're able to understand your person okay um we have the stingray again. Look, this card keeps coming out. So yeah, with the stingray, see, okay, these are the chakras I was talking about. So with pile number one, I was really feeling as though, um, yeah, sorry if it's blurry, but I was really picking up that with pile number one that, I know you don't care about pile number one, but ugh, gotta explain it, that the person did something or said something that made them feel a pain. But in this case, I'm really picking up that you're just pained. Um, you're just pain. I think you're healing and your person brings out a whole bunch of parts of you that you are still healing and it just yeah it's 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 um it's like a physical pain as well I'm feeling um okay we got moth and so with moth um I mean moths aren't really like butterflies where butterfly like turns into obviously from a caterpillar to butterfly and it's really pretty and it's transforming I just feel like with moth it's more like someone who needs to be transformed um but is kind of stuck and I just feel like I know this doesn't sound very nice but I feel as though you are in your moth mode I don't think you feel really good about yourself I think you feel kind of drab I'm just being completely honest so okay uh you feel drab you feel not as colorful you feel oh my gosh you guys the moth you feel like a moth and and that person that you're coming here about to see whether you could trust them with the stingray that kept coming up with the chakras there's colors in the chakras and i just felt like your person being around your person makes you hurt but being around your person makes you feel alive. Being around your person makes you feel vibrant and all these colors are coming out in this moth world. So it's scary. Oh my gosh, I'm getting two cards coming out from the spirit. Yeah, that's totally it, okay? So with the stingray there, it's like when your person's around it, it hurts, but it's like the this like vivid reality world that your person is just bringing in. So now we have scorpion and we have spider. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you guys are really kind of putting up like massive um guards okay so similar to pile number one but a little different a lot of different with spider i just feel like you're kind of setting up the stage so that you're able to be in your comfort area um in case your person i don't know decides to hurt you you kind of can be one with the advantage one with the upper hand um yeah, you don't want to be caught in their web so you have made your own web so that you're able to be in a safe place in case your person tries to do something that is hurtful and with scorpion i just feel like you are ready to yeah be on guard and attack if you have to um and i was just getting from spirit like i think your person feels your attacks um you know i don't know take this however it resonates but feels your attacks and it's really hurtful to them but i yeah but i think your person understands like with the bat they kind of understand why you're being hurtful or kind of flashing out and you know maybe putting poison in areas that of this connection that maybe 
I don't know, don't really require poison. Okay, uh, this does not have to be a romantic connection, but I'm definitely picking up here um, with this situation um, to people who are just learning to how to um, understand one another. And I just feel like you coming here as the moth that you, yeah, that you have lots of healing that you're working on here. So you have camel. And with the camel, I just feel as though this is a really, this is kind of like a really enduring type um, connection. Like it's probably either been ongoing for quite some time or like you guys have known each other for quite some time or this connection has been going on for quite some time. I'm picking up for a lot of you guys. It's kind of like a on again, off again, but on again, off again for like a long time. But I just feel like this endurance card just talks about like as this connection goes, it's kind of getting better with time um, and that I think with time there becomes trust and yeah so I am feel picking that up with that card with that camel card that is kind of like you're you know in time you're wanting the trust to kind of build up within this connection we still, what else do we have for pile number one their energy in this connection and then we'll get into whether you can trust your person okay Okay, so we got cardinal. So it says the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. So I'm just feeling here with this cardinal that, yeah, you're definitely out of balance when it comes to your healing and kind of what you're, what you're experiencing right now. But I just feel like the message here is to be focused on self in order to heal yourself so that you are able to be kind of healthy within this connection because I just feel like here it's a little bit and I just saw the boar okay but um yeah like you're out of equilibrium but this face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious I just feel like you have some challenges that you're trying to um that you need to face head on um, in order for you to be kind of strong for this connection. And I think a lot of the issue is stemming from maybe your lack of healing in this connection. But okay, so spirit, can we look at pile number two's person and whether pile number two can trust their person? Can pile number two trust their person? Thank you, spirit. And thank you, pile number two, for allowing me to tap into your energy and your person's energy. We have the four of cups. Okay, so with, oops, with the four of cups, your person is, I feel like your person's emotionally numb right now. Okay, so I feel as though... Let me pull another card here before I feel what I'm feeling. The spirit with the Four of Cups. Can I, know, can I get a clarifier here? Princess of Wands, which is the Page of Wands. Yeah, I feel like your person here is wanting to... Wanting to start a new exciting connection or I guess an adventure um but I feel like your person has been in stagnant emotional energy for quite some time and I feel like your person wants to communicate something to you oh we have spirit yeah your person wants to give you a message they want to tell you something nine of cups okay so you, the message is very clear. So you got the nine of cups, super beautiful. So your person has been very stagnant for a very long time with their emotional wants. Um, they haven't been emotionally fulfilled and they want to tell you that you are their wish fulfillment, that you make them very happy, that you are their, their desire, that you're everything that they want, um, that you really emotionally make them happy. 
that they haven't felt happy like this in a long time. They are kind of sitting idle in their emotional energy. Um, so we'll ask Spirit to give us another card here. Can pile number two trust their person? This is the Four of Wands. Okay, this beautiful card. So the Four of Wands, um, I mean, when I pull the full four of wands, usually for me, it is the twin flame card because you have the 1111 and the four of wands does speak of stability. It does speak of marriage. It speaks of unity, um, you know, the house marriage, just solidifying a home. And I think your person is definitely has that on their mind as far as their intentions towards you and this connection. So, but are they trustworthy spirit? Can pile number two trust pile number one? I mean, if they're telling you that they, you know. Well. Okay, so with the two of swords, you have, this is the indecision card and the indecision card is somebody who is unable to act. Um, unable to act and has a decision that needs to be made. So it could very well be that your person is inactive right now and waiting to decide on something. And I feel like for a lot of them, they are not pulling the trigger either which way uh, when it comes to this connection. I feel like they might still be stuck. So spirit can pile number two trust, pile number two's person. Why do we have the two of swords there? And we have the empress. Okay, so the empress energy is love. It's, um, oh, I just got a message from for someone here. Uh, your person doesn't know whether you want to have a child. Um, that's a big concern for your person. So either they want a child with you or they are concerned you want a child and they either don't want one or can't have one, but your person is really feeling like they love you. Um, this is true and genuine, like the Empress card is all the Queens in one. You have, you know, the swords, um, wands, cups, and so well, on pentacles because she the empress is the you know the mother queen I guess if you will so I feel as though with the empress there um yeah this is someone kind of in their full power um this person's in their full power they want to either have a child with you or they feel as though you want to have a child Okay, and then we have the Six of Wands. This is the Victorious card. It's victory. It's, you know, getting through a situation and coming out kind of on top and being victorious. It is kind of a quick turnaround with the Six of Wands. So it could very well be that you guys have recently maybe were able to work on something that together that you guys were able to rectify or resolve or come out on top um get through a challenge together i feel what else spirit as far as whether pal number two can trust their person we have the six of pentacles six of discs the six of so that's two sixes you guys got and six is also the lovers in um in the tarot and the lovers is also a choice and a decision and we were seeing the two of swords so i'm getting back to there is a decision that needs to be made here and somebody's not pulling the trigger and not acting so either somebody's waiting for something more um for some reason but with the six of pentacles i feel as though this you know see here um yesterday's reading that i did we had um you know this six of pentacles come out and there's the, the scale here and the scale speaks about give and take and having balance, right? Sometimes we're on the receiving end and sometimes we're on the giving end of 
of life and I feel as though in this connection your person is wanting things to be balanced and maybe you're wanting things to be a little bit more balanced because things have been a little out of balance so they want to be able to give to you and to have balance in this connection more than what's kind of going on um so yeah that's what I'm seeing here but Spirit, can we ask you to show us whether pile number two can trust their person? Thank you. We have Nana Baruku Essence. So Nana Baruku in this in this deck, I just feel as though <clears throat> she has her vase and then she has her knife. And I feel like the knife has like the ability to carve the beautiful vase and like create beauty, but the knife also has the ability to to hurt someone pretty bad. And I think this your person knows that they don't want to use their power of I guess the tools in their arsenal or their power to be able to hurt you, to hurt you. They want to use what they have in order to make something beautiful together with you. With the sun here, you know, sun is always very positive. Um, when I pull sun card, for me, that is just contentment. The sun, like nothing's better than the sun. It is life. It is godly. It is you know, I just feel like this person is very much bringing the light um, and has clarity around what it is that they want to do in this connection and they want to be able to create something. I'm still still picking up child here for a lot of you guys, but create something with you that's beautiful. Um, but I can see how she's holding that knife that it could be really scary for you because you understand that this person can easily just hurt you. And so it, it is very scary because, I mean, does she have to stand there with a the knife like that? I don't know. It does seem kind of scary. Okay, I got two cards here coming out. If you don't know by now, I'm pretty sure you can trust your person. Bye, you don't need me to tell you that, but apparently you do. Okay, so the witch doctor with wisdom and then truth with aura okay there's nothing more better than getting truth card when you're trying to do a reading to know whether your person is telling you the truth so i don't know which more you need but you have truth here you have this little heart with this aura and then you have the witch doctor wisdom and i just feel like your person is very wise i feel like your person is almost healing and definitely you guys are kind of healing um, to one another, but I just feel like your person here with the witch doctor wisdom and with the truth aura is really, really wise and is really wanting to help you heal. This person is also um, trustworthy and they think the world of you. So that's a very beautiful reading. I am so, yeah, I really liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, yeah, feel free to pick another pile if you are so inclined and if not i will see you guys here later bye hey pile number three if you're brave enough to pick the snowflake i love you guys because i don't know who's gonna pick this but i'm so excited to see what it's all about and maybe you guys did pick it well clearly you did because you're here so snowflakes let's take a look what's going on here but first before we take a look at whether you can trust your person whether they're being honest uh, we are going to take a look at your energy okay just so you can can see whether this is resonating for you so we had two cards coming out right away we had lamb and we had lizard okay so i feel you are Okay, well, needless to say, a lamb is very innocent, okay? So I feel for a lot of you guys, maybe you guys haven't been in a lot of relationships. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're pretty either new to relationships as a whole. Um, even I'm picking up for some of you guys, maybe still a virgin. But um, yeah, picking up very innocent and genuine. But for some of you guys, I'd say half of you guys, that this connection is really, 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 really new. Um, and you guys are learning to... I guess connect with each other but with the lizard card I'm getting that 
that the, well, lizards are cold-blooded, so I'm just feeling like you're a little bit in your cold-bloodedness, even though you're innocent. With the lamb, you haven't really been around. Yeah, you're, you're a little bit cold. And maybe it's because you don't really know how to be uh, in this connection because it is so new still. And maybe that's why you clicked on whether you could trust your person or not. Oh, we got that again. Okay, so you and your person definitely have a, a way of understanding each other, um, communicating with each other in a way that not a lot of other people understand. <sighs> Keep dropping cards. Okay, and we got fish, and fish does speak of wealth. So potentially somebody here is fairly wealthy, but fish to me can also be Christian, can also be religious, um, can very well be, yeah, I just feel like someone's really wealthy here. Um, so what else spirit so that we can confirm for pile number one, whether this is their pile? We got gazelle. Okay, I'm still feeling like this innocence. So I don't know why you're so innocent, but I feel like you are either, like I said, new in this connection with this person or you're just really new to relationships or maybe you haven't really had a very deep um, or long-term connection before in the past. So what else here, spirit, for pile number one, whether this is their pile... We have here hummingbird spirit be here now so i still getting like fairly um well hummingbird dainty a hummingbird's like hummingbird's very well i mean they're fluttery but they're fairly gentle they're you know they're fairly graceful be here now i feel like a lot of you guys most likely met um by chance like really really by chance um in a very interesting situation how you guys encountered each other and met each other turkey spirit give with gratitude and grace so we got another bird i guess here if you will um with 61 that's lucky number seven yeah I feel like there was a lot of luck involved and maybe you guys met around Thanksgiving I'm getting for some of you guys as well so that would be fairly new I mean um you know maybe you're getting into the U.S. Thanksgiving but we just got another one here in Canada so I don't know I'm picking up a new connection but I'm picking up Thanksgiving here with the turkey but um you know, with 61 being number seven, seven being lucky, I do feel as though you guys met at some lucky time. There's some time that was also by chance. It was very by luck. Um, and almost like with the hummingbird that it was the way you guys uncovered each other or came across each other was kind of by luck. Okay, what else do we have here for pile number one so that they know this is their pile? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we got here tenderness, true love, compassion. Yeah, you're you're a really like gentle, sweet person. And sorry if I called you a virgin. I don't know if you are, but I'm still picking up like someone who is very not that there's anything wrong anything wrong with that. I don't know why I'm apologizing, but I just like made an assumption there, but I was just feeling this gentle purity. Wisdom. Learning, joy, art, music. So for a lot of you guys, you might be creative or your person's creative into music, into art. Um, for some of you guys, I think you guys might have even met at um, an event. At like a musical event or at, yeah, some sort of entertainment. Okay, adjustment. Looking back, moving forward. Okay, what I'm really getting from this one is that you or your person by chance had to, like, this is an example, but was at an event, you were at an event and your person left and then had to come back for some whatever reason, or you did, and by chance that when they came back, happened to come across you or stumbled across you, um, but it's just something by chance that happened that 
wasn't supposed to happen and did happen. And then you and your person kind of were able to meet each other. Okay, if this isn't a new connection, you might want to go check out pile number one and two because I'm really picking up very new connection here. Um, this does not necessarily have to be romantic, but I'm still thinking you guys are figuring it out because it's still fairly new whether this is something that you're person that you're into and maybe that's why you want to know whether you can trust this person because it is really new like I'm not even picking any vibes from your person right now so much as really the situation or the circumstance because there really isn't anything really developed I don't really feel there's anything developed here I feel as though you are sweet and gentle and virgin like and pure and I just feel like you by chance just met your person at an, at an event or at some recent thing okay so here we have agape and agape is still giving me that same vibe that you keep giving me over and over and over again um it's like this you know like when you're sitting on top of a mountain and you're just looking down at the world and you're just like totally blown away by this like godly like scene that you're seeing in front of your eyes or like you're just so small in the universe like i just feel as though you are this Ooh, I just want to give you a hug, but you're just this, this like pure person who's just like, not that you're like little by any means, but you are shy, you're quiet, you're gentle, you're loving, you're curious about this person. This is a by chance meeting. I'm so curious to know whether we could trust this person. And you'll have to let me know. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, I don't want to really want to pull these cards. Um, I don't pull these romance cards, okay? Because I want to see if there's anything here romantically vibed. Because, it, but like I said, I wasn't really picking that up. But spirit, pile number three. We want to know if we can trust this person. Hmm. We got unrequited love. So there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I got excited. Um, again, this is just a reading on the internet. Do not let it ruin your world. But I do feel as though, and I do set, pick up the same energy of this person kind of coming back and coming in and then grabbing something and then leaving. So maybe you saw someone who you felt as though maybe more for that is feeling for you but let's pull another card here spirit for pile number three can we get a clear and concise message regarding whether they can trust this person or not getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens yeah i feel as though this person is just not right now in your wavelength you don't really i mean it's new so obviously you'd have to get to know each other but i just feel it as though this person you don't really know them like this is really new 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 like i think maybe you saw someone who you want to get to know but i don't feel as though okay so i am picking up for some of you guys you might be crushing on someone or at least you've piqued curiosity around this person and this person really has no clue what's going on like they have no clue like are they aware of you? Okay, spirit, is this person even aware of pile number one? I just felt like this person wasn't even aware that you kind of existed there, but that with that other card that maybe you guys just got to get to know each other before this happens. So spirit with pile number three, is their person even aware? New love. Okay, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I still feel like this is telling me that you got stirred your heartstrings got stirred by this person uh this is new love they stirred your romantic feelings maybe you saw a crush maybe you saw someone who just took your breath away you're uh, you're so gentle and sweet maybe you're feeling so shy to even talk to this person um i don't feel like this person knows you're in their stratosphere I'm seeing someone that you're observing. And this person's kind of just actioning whatever they forgot or whatever they did to come back. 
oh, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So with this very soon, I mean, I'm obviously not going to give you hope, but I feel with the very soon card, I feel as though the message here, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I feel like if you are interested in this so said person, so said, so, <laughs> so said person, you might need to so sad go tell them because um i don't think you're the type that would just go tell someone something but i feel with this card that in order for you to make it happen you're gonna have to come out of your little shell you're gonna have to well you don't have to anything but you if you want to be with this person you're gonna have to make a conversation you're gonna have to want to talk to them and you know let them know that you exist um i just feel like right now this person is not even really in this energy stratosphere okay so whale spirits trust the great mystery so we did get mystery here and i feel like it, it kind of is a mystery really um and with whale spirit like the world is your oyster like you have so much opportunity um that trusting the mystery it's like really anything can happen for you but i just feel as though with this individual um there is no like did you even talk to this person <laughs> i don't feel like yeah maybe maybe you felt something there that maybe you felt something there that i don't think the person I hate to be the barrier of bad news, but I don't think the person felt what you were feeling and they were feeling those vibes off you. Not that they are interested in you because I'm not even getting that. I'm just getting that this person never even picked up anything at all from being around you. So, um, yeah, if you were feeling chemistry, I don't think this person was feeling chemistry, unfortunately. Um, but we didn't even get into whether we can trust this person yet so or did we i don't know we're kind of just rolling with the punches uh, but we do have the number 11 here with this card and the 11 to me is always a spiritual connection so you know there is definitely something spiritual about you and i feel as though you're looking for your spiritual connection. But I don't think this person is it. I don't feel it. Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. So I think you need experience in putting yourself out there. Um, nothing is wasted. So if let's say you ask this person out and they flat out say no, I don't think that's going to be something that's wasted. Um, in fact, I think what spirit wants is you to come out of your shell. Yeah. So with like the gazelle and the virgin card, I just feel like you are so shy and scared to ask someone out. And I feel like you never really showed that forward. So you're kind of pulled back energy. And when you have pulled back energy, it's like you kind of, go into your background like when you're like you know hey how's it going here i am people are like a lot of people <laughs> will also be like whoa just blown away by your energy but um yeah it's like people will acknowledge your energy they'll feel you they'll see like they'll know that you're there and i just feel like you kind of pull back and now it's difficult to see your real genuine energy because you are very sweet and guarded and kind of holding back. Um, but I do see here with the vulture spirit, nothing is wasted through experience, through putting yourself out there, through experiencing rejection. Um, not that I even feel that you would get rejected. I feel as though you would probably not ever get rejected if I'm being completely honest. I mean, not ever, but I don't see that you would get rejected more than you would get you know what i'm saying um nine and nine is my lucky number but aside from me really liking the number nine i think that you are right at the pivotal point of moving out of this energy of being meek and being shy and not 
going after what it is that you want and not, you know, I think you're kind of turning that, that corner um, because nine is right before 10, where 10 is kind of like the ending of a cycle where you start again, maybe then you mature into your dating self. And I just feel like this, yeah, this, um, it's really no energy that I'm picking up here from this being a connection. So spirit pile number three is here for a reason. Pile number three saw a person at a concert <laughs> or somewhere. On Thanksgiving. Can we get what's going on here? The Emperor. Okay, well, the Emperor is so either you are coming into your masculine energy, and right now you are shy and you're reserved and you're kind of still in your boy energy, and you will be growing up into a man soon. Or, so I don't mean to be condescending if I am. I'm <laughs> trying to relay this message. <laughs> I don't know why it's coming out this way. And I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing at myself. Okay? <laughs> this emperor is, one, stepping into their power. So I feel as though you're stepping into your power. You are going from the not so pretty duckling to the swan. I think you're turning into a swan. And not that you're not. I need to end this. <laughs> this is not making you feel good, am I? Not looks, I feel you're perfectly fine. I just meant emotionally developing from the duckling who is, you know, off kind of doing its own thing to this like grandiose swan who like, everyone wants to be around because you're awesome and you're amazing and the emperor is like the divine masculine like the the emperor just swings his his nitty and knows what's up so i think you have that in you but i don't think you've been you know and you could very well be the divine feminine and maybe you just need to be in tune yeah i'm picking up for some of you guys I don't know why I'm just picking up all this masculine energy here, but for the divine feminines who are here, because I know I do have some divine feminines following me, I feel as though you have to step into, you don't have to do anything, but step into your divine masculine energy in order to ask him out. So, I mean, he doesn't have to be the one to ask you out. Um, I just feel like you need to really, you know, tap into your masculine side in order to be the one to kind of drive forward. And I don't really feel like that, you are doing any of that so it's not quite happening for you around that person you kind of came here about and we have art here with the temperance and that's like just the right amount of stuff and what i'm really getting from this card is that you're not putting the right amount of stuff in order to get the outcome that you want because you're either not approaching that person you're not telling them you're not talking to them you're sitting in the corner you're instead of going out where they are you're kind of avoiding even talking to this person but you want them to notice you so I don't know why you're well I mean you're shy maybe but oh uh, three of swords so maybe you have heartbreak maybe you've experienced heartbreak I wasn't really getting what I'm getting from a lot of you guys is this very painful um going through this maybe because you really want to have this person acknowledge you but I think it's more as a whole I think maybe you feel like you haven't really experienced um you know connection the way you want so you feel like heartbroken but I don't feel like this heartbreak is from you being in a connection with someone who's broke your heart okay but I could see how it's like a lonely heartbreak because you want to be able to experience a connection with somebody so I do feel as though you need to step into your emperor power and spirit what else do we have here for pile number three I'm not the best person to communicate um, messages to people like you guys pile number three and I know I'm still developing my following so I hope I didn't hurt your feelings <laughs> But I just, I kind of just say things as they're coming to me. So I really hope I didn't break you. Um, three of Wands. Okay, so the Three of Wands is talk about um, 
you know, future potential waiting for your ships to come in. And with this card, because it came out in the other pile, you have this like beastly, beastly looking dude who's kind of just like aggressively there. And I just feel like this message again is coming out for me that one, you can't just wait around for your ships to come in, for people to come ask you for if you're interested in someone to, for them to ask you out. You kind of have to step into your emperor energy, but I also feel as though like you need to be more assertive uh, if you want things to move forward with this person um i mean if you don't want to be more assertive you don't have to but i just for the connection with this person you're gonna have to be more assertive so spirit can we get here a card for pile number three regarding their person and whether they can trust this person can we trust the person on their mind we got the octopus and I feel as though with the octopus here, they just have too many options right now. They have too many things on the go that you're just one of many things that's there. Um, I mean, you could probably trust them as an individual, but as far as in this connection, I would say they are kind of doing their own thing. Um, they're kind of focused on them. And I don't feel as though they are putting any energy into you at this time. And I really don't like to leave it here, but I guess I'm going to have to get used to it um, because I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, maybe go check out pile number one. Maybe go check out pile number two. Um, but yeah, I... Um, I do want to thank you for stopping by. I really enjoyed doing these readings. I did not enjoy giving you that message because it probably wasn't what you wanted to hear. And I don't know if I delivered it properly, but I'm just channeling what's going through me. And that's what I picked up. So it is what it is. And I do hope that you subscribe leave a comment to let me know how you feel. I am curious to know whether there is something there and maybe I read that energy completely wrong. But anyway, thank you so much and we'll see you soon. Love and light. Bye guys.